this video is going to take you through about 90% of the things you need to know how to do on the calculator in the scatter plot unit. Um, so the first thing we need to do is have some data. So to get to the lists, you're going to click on stat and then just hit enter for edit and then just type in some data. Once you have your data typed in, um, let's look at how to make a scatter plot. So you click on second and then stat plot. This is where we um, were making histograms and box plots and all that stuff in the last unit. So um, you just hit enter. We're going to turn this plot on. And then this first option is a scatter plot. It's the one that has these dots. Uh, and then you're just going to select whichever list you have your data in. For me, my x variable was L1, my y variable was L2, but maybe your data is somewhere else. Quick graph. You might not see it all. So if you don't see it all, you have to click on zoom. And then zoom stat, which is, for me, the ninth option. And that will just center it nicely. Now, this is annoying because there's no labels on the axis, but you can click trace and click through the points. It's not perfect, but it is a way to see what the scatter plot would look like. What you're going to be doing more often with the calculator is actually finding the equation of the line. Um, so to do that, you click on stat and go over to calc, and you're going to choose lin reg. Now notice that this is different than the way I said it in the last video. Ti does ax plus b. And in the video on linear regression, I said it was a plus bx. You just can't win. Hit enter. You just say where your data is located. So my x list is L1, y is L2. You can store it if you want. So if you want it to be stored in y1, you could type y1 right there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to calculate. Okay, and it gives me A and B, and it does give me a little reminder here, which is nice. It's just a reminder that of what A and B are. Okay, so now I have my equation. They don't give me R. There actually is a way to change up your calculator so that you get R, and here's how to do that. You have to click on second, and then the zero key, which is catalog, and then we need to find diagnostics on, which is, um, this is alphabetical. So if you... Click the letter D, you should jump down to that part of the list, and then Diagnostics on, hit Enter until it says Done. Now if you go back to Stat, over to Calc, down to Linear Regression, this time it gives you R and R squared, which is pretty great. So if you don't see that, um, you have to do the second catalog trick. You might have to do that each time you reset the calculator, just something to be aware of. Real quick, if you have an older calculator, when you go to do um, linear regression, you're not going to get the menu. That's fine. It's automatically going to do L1 for X, L2 for Y, but if you had your data somewhere else, you would just have to type in L2, comma L3. Just like we did in the last unit, you are at a slight disadvantage because you don't get the menu. Um, I don't have anything in L3, so it's not going to like that. Let me just change this. L1, L2 is the default, so you shouldn't have to type anything, but if you put it in a different list, you should type the list they're in, and then the output you get is the same. But just a heads up, that's what to do if you don't have the menu.